Hey, folks, Alan Saunders with Pittsburgh Sports Now. And uh, I'm joined today by the newest member of the Pitt basketball team, uh, transferring guard Nike Sabande, who is joining the Panthers this fall uh, after spending the first three seasons of his career uh, with Miami University in Ohio. Nike, first of all, thank you for joining me. Um, what does it mean to you to be a, a Pitt Panther and to be uh, part of the, the program? It means a lot, man. It's, it's just a, it's a blessing and a dream come true for me to play at this level and just to get here. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. What was your exposure level to the program before you decided to transfer? How much did you know about Pitt? How much did you know about Jeff Capel uh, before you went into this process? Uh, I knew I knew about Jeff Capel a lot. Um, for he was familiar. I, I was familiar with him through Duke, but um, I was definitely familiar with Pittsburgh just because I knew some of the some of the some of the recent things that they did uh, in their history. So. After I really just sat back and looked at Pitt, I really liked liked the school and liked everything that y'all got. So, you talked about uh, you know wanting to be in the ACC. What, how much did you get to experience playing against some teams of of that caliber when you were at Miami? Uh, we really didn't get that experience, and that's why I'm I'm excited to get to this level. Like I really, my whole life, I've been wanting to play at the the best competition. So. To get to this competition and see them teams night in and night out, I'm I'm excited, man. I can't wait for it. When you were you know making your decision, you had a lot of teams to pick from. What was the thing that made Pitt really stand out to you as as the, the place you wanted to be? Uh, I just like what what, what Cape was doing at Pitt and 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 what he got going over there with you know the, the, the recruiting he's doing, you know what he's bringing in and and uh, it's how he's playing, you know the style of play. Um, I feel like he got a lot of people, you know, um, to the next level. So that's what I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm just excited to pitch in and do what I can to, to, to try to make history at Pitt. What do you think is going to be the biggest difference between playing in the MAC and playing in the ACC? Uh, probably just the competition. Uh, you know, night in and night out, you're playing against the best competition. So uh, that's what I think will be, be the most important thing. That's – that's, I'm, I'm, like, I'm definitely excited for that, though. Like, I, that's, that's what I want. I want to play against the best players, you know, and so what I could do against them. So, when you think about your game, what do you, what do you think you bring to the table that's going to make you successful at that level? Uh, I think I bring uh, the, the energy, uh, definitely the energy and the defense. Uh, I, I can score the ball in, in many different ways. Uh, I can get my teammates involved, and I'm just gonna bring that mentality and that attitude. Like, like we we come here to, to do something tonight, for sure. It's a team that's gonna have uh, six new scholarship players, plus uh, Ethel Horton, who didn't play last year because he had to sit out. Is gonna be playing this year. Gonna be a lot of new new faces on the floor. Is that exciting to come into a team that's sort of in the middle of building something new? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited, and especially, you know, we got some young guys, too, and, and, and I'm excited just to, to, you know, be one of the other guys in the locker room that can, that actually has experience and actually been through, you know, college, so I can, you know, uh, point directions and, and, and let them know some of the things that are make it a little easier for them so they, they can excel, too. So I'm excited to, to be able to do that. When you first decided you were going to leave Miami, what – what was the, the driving force in, in that decision? Was it the desire to play at a higher level? Uh, yeah, I think I think that that's what it was for sure. My whole life, I've been wanting to play at this level. I've been wanting to get to the ACC or, or you know, one of the top conferences so I could show what I could do. And uh, nothing against Miami. You know, they're real good, you know, good program. They got good history too. But this is where I wanted to be, you know, in, 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 in a good conference to where I can, you know, show what I could do there. When you think about this fall or, or whenever you get back uh, to playing, what's the kind of thing that, that you're looking forward to? Is it, uh, you know, first time at uh, Cameron Indoor or a place like that or for saw a crowd at the Pete or maybe the ACC tournament, something like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to get there and, you know, uh, and, and, hear, and, hear and, and embrace that crowd. They said the pit got – you know, the, 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 the crowd and everything, that, that's crazy. So I'm ready to experience that. And, and I also want to, you know, try to get to the ACC tournament champion, you know, championship game and, and some of the good things like that. So uh, I just got, you know, dreams like everybody else. And, and I'm just going to work towards them every day to, to try to get there and 
put in what I can. Now it's uh, you, you have to apply for a waiver, right? So are you still in that process of trying to get eligible for this fall? Yes, sir. Yep, I'm definitely in, uh, in still in that process. When you, uh, you know, is that something you guys have to do? Does Pitt help you through that? You know, it's not something a lot of people are really familiar with that process. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually putting in a waiver. Uh, of course, they're going to help me through it. You know, that's where I'm going. So, of course, so uh, hopefully, you know, I can get eligible this season. Um, if not, then uh, I'll be prepared for the following season. I'm going to work every single day to try to try to do what I can to get better each and every day, regardless of just playing this year or next year. Uh, hopefully, I can play this year. It will be, like, perfect, you know. But if not, I just got to accept it. How's your summer been? What have you been doing since the end of your season to try to stay in shape? I know it's been tough for everybody with uh, gyms being closed and things like that. Well, what have you been up to? Uh, I've just been trying to stay active as much as I can, really. Uh, they, they really got different gyms opened up here in Indianapolis. Uh, they have different gyms opened up each and every day, really. So I just try to, you know, get the location on them as much as I can and just, you know, get my, get my workout in. Uh, you know, my individual workout by myself and just staying, stay active. Try to get some runs in, you know, a couple times a week uh, outside on the track just to keep my wind up and, and make sure I'm, I'm ready to, for, for the conditioning aspect and not just sitting around. So that's really all I've been doing, just really bored out my mind, man, ready to get everything going back going. <laughs> well, the last thing I have to ask you, I mean, your name is Nike. You, you're coming to a Nike school. Was that an accident or was that a necessity for you? I, <laughs> hey, man, I think it's just a part of my journey, man. Um, I was, I'm coming from a Adidas school. Uh, my name's Nike. I, I guess that wasn't a good fit. So <laughs> I guess it's just a part of my journey, man, uh, just trying to trying to find the right spike and, and, and wear that Nike across my chest. And I'm excited that I can do that now. It's going to look good. Thank you, Nike, for joining me, and, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, we'll continue our coverage as uh, – well, Jeff Capel's now finished with his class of 2020, but is still out there, of course, recruiting uh, in the 2021 class. And stay with Pittsburgh Sports now for all your Pitt basketball news. I'm Alan Saunders. Thanks for watching.